Welcome back to Brett's Hang, I'm Brett Barnett. Today we're doing another custom artist rack build, and it's for Eminem's drummer, Devin Webster, also known as D-Web. So D-Web calls me up, he's like, Brett dude, I need your help. I'm going out with Eminem. We've got a ton of festival dates, and I really need Gibraltar's help in making my rig look amazing. Because I know how Gibraltar allows you to be really creative. I know that you can customize it the way that you want to make your playing feel comfortable. I know how functional and how rock solid it is. I need Gibraltar on this tour. So I said, okay, so let's talk about your setup. He says, I've got two rack toms, 10, 12, and then two floor toms, 14, 16. And then I've got four snares. Main 14 snare, a uh, auxiliary snare, uh, 14 on the left, and a 10 inch snare on the left just above the 14, and then also a 14 inch snare on legs just right next to his 14 inch floor tom. So it looks like he's got three floor toms on the right side, which is amazing. And he goes, I've also got two bass drums, one right in the middle, which is our main bass drum, and then an auxiliary 22 inch on the right hand side. And he said, you know, I love, I love what you guys do, um, so I want you to just do your thing, and the only thing that I ask is that we have some vertical bars coming up to hold some cymbals. That's it, and then the rest, just do your thing. So you know what? Let's make this thing kill it. Okay, so what we're doing here is creating uh, an inner circle and an outer circle, a tiered type of bar situation right here. So I've got a lower tier and a higher tier, and I offset them so that we could actually attach the, the clamps without conflicting with the upper bar. So I flip the right angle clamps around to where the bar connects to the inside of the vertical for the lower tier, and on the outer tier, I flipped the, bar, the clamps around so that you connect the, the top bar to the outer side of the, bar, of, of the vertical. So now you've got a tiered uh, situation and it allows you the access to be able to add clamps on here without conflicting with the top bar. So now to connect the second side to uh, the, the center, uh, the second side being the um, floor tom side, um, what I did was I wanted, I wanted the whole, I want the whole rack to be just um, a big half circle and I want all the bars on each tier to be on the same exact plane. So I used a, uh, an ultra adjust clamp and connected it to uh, the top bar, the end of the top bar, which actually makes, it butts up the ends of the bars together like that. But there's an ultra adjust joint here that allows you to um, position the clamp at any angle that you need so um, that you get a seamless, a seamless curve. So I was able to connect that, um, this whole side to this ultra adjust, to the end of this bar with this ultra adjust clamp all the way through to the back bar. Now, I did the same thing for the inner tier, uh, the lower tier, which was use the ultra adjust clamp, clamped onto the excess tubing from the front part of the rack and um, connected all the way to the, uh, to, the back, to the back bar on the left side. So I'm able to create an entire circle within a circle in a tiered, tiered type setup. So on the hi-hat side, I did the exact same thing. I just mirrored what I did on the floor tom side. So now I was able to continue this whole side, keep everything seamless, and now I've got a circle within a circle going all the way around the rack. So it gets this, you know, kind of really kind of smooth sphered look. And um, I use the SEEA 100, which is an extender arm with an adjustable angle clamp on the end. So it's great for uh, legless hi-hats. Now over here we've got his 14-inch uh, auxiliary snare on the left-hand side um, mounted with a legless snare stand. And I just used a 20 inch straight bar, connected it to the back leg, and um, a super multi clamp so it, you know, people hit snares really hard and uh, snares can be heavy. So it's a strong clamp and it's great for uh, holding legless snare stands. So now, I mean, they've got enough room to where if they need to reposition it a little bit, they'll be able to do so. But um, right now, we've got the bulk of everything um, set up. 
and um, it's all about cosmetics after this. Once we get the symbols done, it's about just making this thing uh, pop even more. It's just the fine little details. All right, so we're finally done, and I had this whole car theme in my head, and I wanted to try to imitate a grill, a car grill. So we created these, these this kind of faux grill right here to go right around each side of the kick drum. So it starts at the top, the top tier, then the bottom tier, and then it's like this little rib cage that we made out of 24 inch curve bars, and um, which actually worked really well because these vertical curves that we're holding the two crashes needed something to support. So, because otherwise without the support, this thing would have wobbled left and right when he's crashing, you know, beating the heck out of it. So, um, use the bar to connect it down to this, down to the bottom of the grill, and it locks this in place. So back behind the kit, right here off the back leg, I'm using the little G-mat percussion table, and I just used a 24 inch curved bar to put a little wing off the back so he can put his laptop here. You know, if he's got like a mixer or, you know, some of his in-ear stuff, that'll fit perfectly right here. Then we've got the SPD SX coming out of this back leg right here, and uh, which is perfect for him because it's right where he wants it to be. And we're utilizing the leg as opposed to another space on the bar. Then we've got uh, one of his crashes, his 10 inch snare right now. It's actually going to be a 12 inch snare. We've got it mounted to the, to the second, to the first tier right there. And then moving over, we've got a splash and then there's going to be a stack right here. So the whole top, um, what's really cool about a two-tiered uh, two system here is that you can utilize more space and uh, have more space to put different accessories. Like for instance, we have pretty much all the, sim most of the symbols connected to the top bar. Now he's got the lower bar to connect the hi-hat. I'm, I'm sorry, he's got one symbol here. My bad. Um, and uh, he's mounting the snare off this. So this, this frees up a lot more space for them to be able to add microphones to the, uh, to the set so they can keep all this floor space clean. So now moving around to the front as we've got, you know, here's the, 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 the grill, as, as, as we would say, the grill right up front. And then moving over to the right side, the floor tom side, we were able to uh, position this right over the 22 inch kick drum. And um, we've got our ride cymbal, our main crash, secondary right crash, and then China all mounted to this side rack. So um, he doesn't have a whole lot going on on this side, so he's got plenty of space to add other, uh, other accessories, whether, I, I know he's gotta add like, you know, probably three more electronic pads. So he'll probably add maybe a couple over here, maybe one over there, I don't know. They'll figure it out, this is what they do. Um, but um, once again, this was, uh, we were able to pull this off without any hitches, um, which is awesome. It doesn't always work like that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and um, make sure you check D-Web out on tour this year. Hey guys, Devin Webster here, drummer for Eminem. I want you guys to take a look at this amazing drum set. Uh, more importantly, I want you guys to take a look at this rack that was built uh, by my good friend Brent Barnett at Gibraltar. Check it out, man. Basically, all of my snares are legless, which is, first of all, amazing. My snares are legless. There's just one brace, so, I mean, it takes, it eliminates, you know, just having that wide, you know, brace, you know, you don't, I can put my drums anywhere now because of the, you know, the freedom that I have here. It's just amazing. Legless. Legless hi hat stand. I got my pressure table over here. I got my computer on here. Um, everything, everything except for my floor toms, literally, is mounted to this rack. Everything.